Hey folks, this is Jay with the IE team. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial on how to customize your app icons without any theming, downloading them through Cydia, or using iFile. The method here I'm going to use is going through the phone via Wi-Fi to WinSCP. First what I did was I went online and I found this nice little set of icons, all kinds of sets out there. And these are the ones I particularly liked. So I just downloaded them to the desktop. And what I've also done is created a saved icons folder. We'll get to that later on. So here I am, I am in WinSCP. Now to get to the applications, you're going to want to click on the root directory. And then that's going to pull up these files here. Now I'm going to click on the applications. And we'll start with Cydia. And you're going to want to look for a file that's called icon. This is going to be the same in each folder. And here we can view it. And there's the standard Cydia icon. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this over to my saved icons. That way, say in case something goes wrong, I have it saved if I want to go back to the original one. And what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to rename it just to Cydia. Because if I was to leave it named icon and I drag over the next icon it would override it and it wouldn't save it so what we're gonna do here is this file name has to match whatever one you're putting in which is icon so I'm gonna rename this to icon now I'm gonna click and drag this over I'm gonna copy it and I'm going to override it, yes to all. Now I am going to delete it because we're going to need to change the next icon to icon as well. And I don't want to have any duplicates. So we'll go back up to the applications. Now we're going to look for the Safari one. That is under the mobile Safari folder. Once again, you're going to find the icon. I'm going to drag that over here to save it. Copy. And that I am going to rename to the Safari. Now I'm going to rename this one to icon because remember they all need to match what's ever in that folder. Drag this over. Now I'm just going to keep going through the motions here for each one of these. Copy and then yes to all. Now I'm going to delete it. Now to find the App Store, that one's right there. Scroll down till we see the icon folder. File, excuse me. And going to copy that over, copy, uh, rename that to App Store, rename this to Icon, copy it over, Copy, yes to all, and delete that. For some reason here, I'm looking, I got a JPEG file in there. I was fooling around with this earlier, but I don't want that in there because these all want to be PNG files. So I'm going to delete that. Okay. Now we're going to go to the mail. That is under the mobile mail folder. Save that. Now I'm going to 
rename that to mail. Now we're going to rename this to icon. We're going to drag it over. Copy. Yes to all. And we're going to delete it. Now we're on to the last one, which is the settings. Now this one here is found in the preferences folder. Scroll down till we find the icon. Copy that over. Now I'm going to... That one I didn't change because there was no other one called icon. So that's why we didn't get any conflicts. I'm going to rename this one to icon. Oop. Rename. And we're going to drag that over, copy, yes to all, and then that is it. So now basically all you're going to want to do now is respring the springboard and your new icons will be there. Good luck, and if you have any questions, get a hold of one of us at the IE team and we'll be more than happy to help, or you can get a hold of me directly through Twitter. Have fun.